our banner is truth. Our shield is non-violence. Our sword is a sword of the spirit that conquers without blood. It may surprise you that a country which you are taught to regard as conservative should have chosen a woman to be its representative and ambassador. But if you read aright the whole history of Indian civilization, you will realize that woman has been the very pivot of its culture, of its all its inspiration, and of all the emphasis of peace that have gone abroad for many centuries to the uttermost parts of the world. Is there aught you need that my hands withhold? Rich gifts of raiment or grain or gold. Lo, I flung to the east and west priceless treasures, dawn of my breast, and yielded the sons of my stricken womb to the drumbeats of duty, the sabres of doom. ended in triumph for Britain, India was denied its promised reward. Instead of self-government, the British imposed the repressive Rowlett Act. Public protests against its draconian legislation were quelled ruthlessly. The worst incident was the Jallianwala Bagh massacre of April 1919, when Brigadier General Reginald Dyer ordered his troops to fire without warning on 15,000 unarmed and non-violent men, women and children demonstrating peacefully in an enclosed garden in Amritsar, killing as many as 1,499 and wounding up to 1,137. Gathered like pearls in their alien graves, silent they sleep by the Persian waves. Scattered like shells on Egyptian sands, they lie with their pale brows and brave broken hands. They are strewn like blossoms, mown down by chance, on the blood-brown meadows of Flanders and France. (laughs) 